Brendan. Gail. What's up? Not a lot. What's up with you? Same old, same old. Look, Hanging around the SCG, doing our, my thing. Our yeah. SCG shirts. Old shirt, new shirt. I love them. Yeah, I like the gear. <laughs> I love the gear. But I like the black. Me too. Hmm. All anyway, right. what do we got going on today? We have the Krups EA82. Okay. Um, and we're going to do a review on it. Well, let's talk about it. Tell me the feature. I mean, let's go through it. The whole thing, the whole kit yeah. and caboodle. Yeah, yeah. 1.8 liter water tank in the back. Big one. With Very a filter. Big. Comes with a filter. Yep. Nice. Very nice. And that's going to Krups's patented thermoblock style boiler. Patented. What makes it patented? You we know, don't know. I, I don't know because we're not, you know, we're a service center, certified service center for a lot of different manufacturers, but not Krups. Okay. Um, so we don't know much about the internals of this machine at all. Well, let's um, just get my Sawzall and we'll get into it. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a break and get a Sawzall. Everyone. Yeah, we'll be right back. Um, next thing, we got 275 gram bean hopper with a nice seal here. Yep. Keep your beans fresh, which is nice. We have our grinder adjustment here. Um, but yeah, What's there's... What's this all about? Yeah, I, right now our bean hopper is not at a capacity of 275 because this cool little addition is in here that kind of funnels oily beans uh, into the burrs. Kind of, so it gets it down where it needs to. Without that, the beans will go up in here and the slope isn't as exactly. severe. Is that how... Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, and I think with these beans that we have in here right now, they're not very oily no. at all. Uh -uh. Um, so we wouldn't really have to worry about that. But if you do have problems, they give you this little accessory nice. to put in there. Nice. We're not going to put it back in because no. I just took it out. No, the beans are in the way. And this is going to conical steel burrs, which is great. Mm -hmm. Right here we have our cup warmer. Mm -hmm. which yeah, is, I noticed that's hot. Yeah, it's right above the boiler, mm -hmm. so there's no heating element heating that or anything like that. I think there's um, something under here, isn't there? There is. Look at oh, that. What a, what a move. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we have our cleaning tablet chute here. This is not a bypass doser, Gail. <laughs> I wanted to put a scoop in there. So, you know what? I'm wondering... That's, I guess they have these slits in here for heat coming up. Yep. Okay. To get to the steel yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Which is nice. Yeah. Um, what else we got here? We have either your choice of manual frothing, or if you want, it comes with this jug and kind of this frothing attachment. So it does it, it's all automated for oh, you. Nice. So it's kind of your choice, whichever one you want to do. Okay. Which and is that's great. a stainless container. Yep. It's not thermal. I, d I don't think it is, right? It's not I don't a, believe it's so. It's not a thermal... No, it's not double wall. Yeah. It's a single wall. Exactly. So you don't want to leave the milk out for very long. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's got this cool little thing here uh, that catches grounds, oh. like too many grounds that could not end up in the brew unit. This will catch it, so you can kind of empty that when you want. Clean. Clean me. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's not getting all over your board and other parts in there that you don't want. Right. Um, and then it has this cool little crep service guide. I love, uh, you know, we were looking at that earlier. I think that's... I like it. It's made out of that plastic coated paper, which is kind of nice. It's mm -hmm. got all of your stuff about descaling and this, that, and the other in here. And then it also gives you uh, all the countries for the numbers for contact for hotline. For support, kind of. I want to yeah. call Poland. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll let you do that, Gail. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Uh, here's our dredge box. Mm -hmm. Very big, can hold a lot of pucks in there. They told me it's out. Oh yeah. Oh, and well, then what? Well, we haven't yet, and I think it might be tallying the number of pucks that are in there, or cakes, as Krebs likes to call them. So I'm going to actually hit no here, and okay. then we're back to the main screen. Gotcha. Um, and then we just have our drip tray, which is removable, and you'll want to clean out and empty every once in a while. Um, but other than that, you know, it's a fully automated just, machine. Oh yeah, look at that. Spouts go up and down. Yep. Um, and if since it's fully automated, I think it's cool how small it is because usually fully automated yeah. machines are exactly a little Mambo. bigger. Um, so I think that's one of the cooler things about this. You know what I noticed about this is this has two different uh, positions. This one is in p cappuccino right now, and then if you rotate, it goes to cafe latte. Look at that. Which, less foam, more hot milk, Huh. more foam. Well, that's cool. Yeah. It is cool. Yep. Um. A couple things about the software is we can program uh, just the time in there, and then you can program uh, auto on and auto off times. Oh. So it can just you can wake up in the morning, walk right down, and your machine's on, heated up, and ready That's to go. It's your alarm. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can smell coffee. Yeah, right. Um, I don't think it'll brew for you ahead of time. It does clean. Does it do a rinse cycle? Exactly. Yeah. So by the time you get down to it, it's all preheated, and you mm -hmm. don't have to wait for it to do anything. Nice. And it has 
for programmable? What mm -hmm. can you program on those? Um, really, the only thing you can program uh, before mm -hmm. you make the shot mm -hmm. is the coffee temperature itself. Okay. But once you select whatever beverage you want, uh, while the boiler is heating up, you can select the volume. Okay. You can't change the grams of coffee that are ground, but you can change the volume that it brews. Exactly. Oh, nice. Exactly. Hmm. So you can change it on the fly kind of a mm -hmm. thing. Or you can program it. Exactly. Is that right? Well, the, the temperature itself is Oh, the is temperature programmed. is what you're programming. Exactly. Yeah. So you can get in here and program the coffee temperature. Gotcha. Um, but then when you select the beverage, every time it's going to then ask you uh, the volume that you want. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Well, let, let's see it do that right now. Well, actually, let's froth our milk first. Okay. You want to do the automatic or this? Let's do the automatic. Okay. Because we all know how good you are at frothing milk. So let's see how good <laughs> this machine is. Well, and the milk is in here. Oh, perfect. Uh, there uh, we go. Wet. <laughs> do I need to scoot this yeah, back, scoot a little it back a little bit? Yeah, scoot back a little bit. Please. We go. No problem. Perfect. There we go. Okay, now we're going to hit steam. Oh, we got 25 seconds. I think that's good. Let's leave it at 25. Sure. Preheating in progress. So this is what I was talking about. I mean, it's kind of asking you how so long you, you want it you to go. So you could change that if you wanted to. Exactly. Yeah. 26, 27. I want yeah. 24. There we go. And then you just leave it there. <laughs> You're awfully high maintenance, Kate. I know. You say 25, <laughs> I say 24. I want 24 and a half. I like high maintenance. I like that. Well, you can interrupt it. We'll put on That's 25, true. and you can interrupt it That's when it true. gets to 24 and a half. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Oh, talking about high maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's ready. Okay, so it's all heated up now. The, the thermal block's ready. We're yep. just going to hit steam. And there we go. Well, look at that. We're already down to 19. <laughs> Wait. Don't forget, half second. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That doesn't look too bad. It's looking pretty yeah. frothy, which is nice. Yeah. And it's doing the countdown. Done. Steam cycle finished. Perfect. Huh. So now you put it up here for now, the coffee? Yeah, yeah. Let's put it right up there. And then... Let's bring this down a little strong. bit so everyone can see what's going on here. Okay, yeah. We're going strong. That's what we're doing, Gail. Because that's how I roll. Talk about. Okay, so we could change the volume here, but I like two ounces. Oh, yeah. I can change it before it yep. actually starts. Yeah. Changes it by 0.3. Yep. We're going to go to... Leave it at two because that's a good volume. Yeah, two ounces is a typical double shot. Mm-hmm. Here it comes. You ready? I'm ready. I am ready. Oh, there we go. Pre-infusion. Yep, exactly. Yeah, wait time. And now we are good now, to go. Now, latte art. This is Gail's infamous super automatic latte art. Look at <laughs> I can't wait wow. to see it. Wow, Grand Canyon. Wow, that does look really cool. Reminds me of, oh. We might have to. Interrupt. We oh no, that was really close. We got a little more milk than we. Yeah, right on the edge, huh? Look at that. It's wow. Like, it's almost as if we knew what we were doing there. Almost. <laughs> Look how pretty. That is really pretty. Doesn't that remind you of like the sand dunes or whatever, or, or it, the layers of like the Grand Canyon? Yeah, it actually really does. Hope look it doesn't like taste that. like the Grand Canyon. <laughs> that was funny, Gail. Mmm. Hot. It looks like it does run on the cover of the box. Mm hmm. That is hot. That's the patented thermoblock. Yeah. Wow. See, I would take that back a notch for me, even. You're right. Wow, that the is very hot. The temperature way up there. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Foam is nice. That's very good. You're yep. right. We, we probably don't need it maxed out. You're right. We probably could get by with the temperature just being two out of the three. Unless you were going to mix the foam into it because the foam is cooler always. It's got a lot of air bubbles. Mm -hmm. uh, if you mixed it in, I think it'd probably be right on. Yep. So, my only... Um, I like most of the features on this machine. I think it's got a lot going on for it. The only thing I would suggest that I, I would call a con is black plastic. I'd like to yep. see a little stainless, a little pretty, prettier up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but for the price, yeah, you know, exactly. You're not you're not spending for the stainless mm -hmm. either. So, I think it's a great machine. I think it's ideal um, for someone that you know doesn't have the biggest kitchen and a little bit of a small right. countertop and someone that's looking for the machine to do the bulk of the work. Or um, you can do the steaming yourself. I exactly. Mean, uh, a lot of people like to do their own steaming. So having yep. the option to do one or the other is, I think it's a plus. Yeah, I think that is ideal because usually 
there seems to be a tendency of either or. You yes, know? I um, would agree. So that is that is a very nice feature for this machine. But for the size and all the features and its overall ability, yeah, I think it's great. It's got it going on. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot, Brendan. Thank you, Gail. Catch you later.